Hi, I'm Daniel Bergman. And I am Johan Klingberg. You're watching Fly TV, and today we're going Mayfly fishing. Today we're in the south of Sweden, we're going to fish uh, small streams with uh, dry flies. Hopefully we'll find some uh, big mayflies hatching and uh, some nice trout rising to them. And with me I got my dear friend Johan Klingberg. Johan is not new to this uh, movie making business, you've been doing quite a lot of films earlier on. Fly fishing is my life I would say. I really like to fish these small little rivers with wild brown trout and uh, therefore it's a it's a great thing for me to bring you here and uh, and show you some of the best experiences you can have in south sweden so this is the first stream uh, we're gonna try and it apparently uh, the mayfly hatch is on yeah you see mayfly fishing down in the south part of scandinavia is very much of traveling around yeah looking searching and searching and searching yeah and uh, a mayfly hatch can keep on for a day up to seven days eight yeah. days sometimes but uh, what really happens is that you always hear wherever you come <laughs> you should have been here <laughs> yesterday, yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so what, what I used to say <laughs> about mayfly fishing uh, it's it's a um, it's a word that's mm. very common in mayfly fishing that's pure luck because yeah. that's what it is about you need to be very very lucky to spot the right river yeah. in the right time so um, the good thing with the mayfly hatch is that even though the average size of the brown trout of the wild, wild mm. brown trout in these rivers I would say are 25 to 30 centimeters that yeah. we normally fly fish for here. Yeah. yeah. But during the mayfly period, this short little, short little period, yeah, yeah, you will have the chance to see some of the biggest, some of the great that, granddaddies that, rising out there. Yeah, the guys that doesn't bother eating from the surface. Precisely. The precisely. rest of the year. Yeah. So uh, I think we should go up and have a look in that pool to yeah. see if we. we if we're lucky today, see if we can find any rice. <laughs> we have the whole day, don't we? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Daniel, this is what mayfly fishing is mm. most about. Watching, waiting. <laughs> waiting and waiting and waiting. waiting watching waiting. and watching and watching. Yeah. To find a rising fish. We yeah. don't go for blind fishing now. No. We, that, that's the desperate we thing. Need to, that we need to find the thing. No, mm. Find the fish. Mm. So, um, a lot of scouting. Mm. Looking, yeah. standing, sitting, watching, waiting, <laughs> waiting, and wait again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm gonna give the the done version of the Donica imitation a go. Um, I'm not uh, sure that's what they're eating, but it's a good start uh, and it's visible, <laughs> so they usually take it. They're not so picky this time of the year, actually, most of the time. It's a, it's a worse, worse thing in the evening, maybe with the spinnerfall, then it can be tricky. So 
So I caught a beautiful trout here, uh, first trout uh, for today uh, on a Danica imitation. We spotted it out here, it uh, rose a couple of times uh, and then Johan spotted it a bit further up than I was fishing uh, and I saw another rise in the same place, one cast and poof! And it's a really nice brown, beautiful little brown, great fish. Johan went uh, downstream to see if he could find any risers uh, further down. Uh, but we spotted a fish close to the other bank. Uh, but it seems as if he sort of got spooked when we uh, were releasing the other fish. So I'm um, just sitting down, taking it easy. I'm going to pour myself a cup of java and see if he starts again. A lot about the weight. One trout, nice trout, feeding above that stone. Now comes, and he took that fly as well. So he's really on, he's really on. So I will see if I can target him with an upstream cast. And here. That's a good fish. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we'll see there. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. This is what my fly fishing is about. Look at that fish. Isn't that fantastic? Woo. Beautiful brown, wild brown, caught on a Mayfly emerger. Love it. So, um, well, let's put him back again. While we were sitting there having coffee and philosophing as we, yeah, as you do as a fly fisherman, uh, what seems to be a nice fish started rising just outside of here. So I'm gonna give it a go, see how it works out. Well, I thought I sort of dropped him down the ledge <laughs> there, but just when I changed my mind and went up, he came back and started rising. Uh, and it took a couple of casts and it was done. <laughs> beautiful fish, beautiful fish. And he unhooked himself, good boy. Sounds of Sweden rocks. Awesome! On the spent spinner. They just love it. That's it for today? Yeah, great day. Lovely day, hasn't yeah. it been? Yes. Some nice fish and mm -hmm. some nice rice and uh, solid takes. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Daniel, we're going to go to my babe, my yeah. favorite stream where I've been fishing my whole life. Yeah. A lot smaller stream than this one, mm -hmm. but uh, everything can happen there. So yeah. you never know. Nope. So what do you think? Do you think we should continue fishing or uh, should we say 
enough. I think maybe we go back uh, home, have some yeah. chat and be ready for the morrow, tomorrow. Sounds, sounds yeah. like a good plan. Yeah. So good night, though. Good night. <laughs>
This little brown is a wild brown trout. And this is what I would say the average size, what you can expect of a river like this. Um, occasionally you catch a larger one and that's Christmas of course. But this is really what you can accept. Fish of up to 30 centimeters. So this little fellow will go back and grow bigger. See you next time, friend. In this fast current, I need a dry fly, a really, really proper dry fly. It needs to sit high on the surface, otherwise they, they won't notice it. So for that, re for that reason, I need to change to a dry version, a fresh Danica imitation. This one is actually small compared to the real one, but it uh, won't be necessary to have a full-size Danica. This one will do good enough. So let's give it another try up in these little pockets up there, further upstream. We'll see if we get Grandy up there. I'm fishing a really technical stretch here with a lot of rocks. So I'm going to try to fish like every small little uh, current uh, around every rock. Just give it a couple of casts on every one. Um, but it's sort of tricky. <laughs> I don't have much space to cast on. Uh, and I need to be very accurate. Uh, it's a good thing with a like a short rod, like eight feet or something. I'm using eight foot four. Uh, quite an aggressive leader to turn over this big uh, mayfly imitation. But it's great fun, technical and fun. So we'll see if we can find some, some bigger ones up here. Well, that was a pity. This is typical mayfly fishing. Yeah. It's um, all the pieces have to be there. My suggestion would be to go back home, mm. prepare ourselves for tomorrow, and dry up, uh, dry up a bit <laughs> and uh, tie some more danicas and yes. hope for better weather tomorrow. What do you think? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, Definitely. I think we'll do that. This is probably it for the day. We've found what seems to be a nice trout rising very steadily just above here. <clears throat> as soon as there's a... Look at that! He took it. Uh, as soon as a mayfly drifts over it, he takes it. So, it seems as quite an easy target. But you'll never know. <laughs> I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> One shot was all that it took. <laughs> Damn strong. That's a beautiful fish. Quite nice. Size to be this tiny little river. Flies out. Let's get this baby back to where it belongs. Go back to feeding on the big mayflies. This is awesome. <laughs> Look, I just held the net down in the water. I caught these two guys. <laughs> you can say they're drifting. I released the trout and now I'm going to release the trout food. Behave, find food, uh, find trout. No, the other way. Downstream you go. I'm a happy camper. Johan, huh? 
I love your streams. Yeah. <laughs> We uh, just saw another fish rising a bit further upstream and uh, this is a decent trout as well, like the first one that Daniel caught. So um, I will sneak out and try that fish with either a dun, a mayfly or an emerger. We'll see what he prefer. I'll start with the emerger. Gosh, that's a good fish. It's a good fish. That is a beauty. And I need to beware of the stones up here as well. It's a lot of stones. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And let's see where we are. There we go. That's a big fish! That is a queen. That is a beauty. Oh god. That's awesome, you one. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. This is for sure a dream fish in these Look sort at of that waters. fish. Yes. This is an awesome fish in this small stream. Actually, one of the largest I have caught in this particular river. Uh, a fish over 50 centimeter, well over 50 centimeter, good fighter, took mayfly emerger, tied it this morning, life couldn't be better. So Daniel, this was it, how did you like fishing in the streams in south, southern Sweden? Your mayfly madness. A yeah. <laughs> lot of mayflies all yeah. over. So why not, Daniel, next year, why not come down to me again and give it another couple of days? Definitely. Yeah. So uh, I tell you what, I will um, go downstream and see if I can see another trash. Do so. Okay, have a good day. You <laughs> Cheers. Too.